Welcome to a new Draw My Life video. Hey there, TikTokers, and welcome to a new Scary Tuesday. Today, we have a creepy pasta you've asked for a lot, though there is not much info about it. The story of Nurse Anne, which we have adapted for you. Anne was a shy 24 year old girl. She didn't have many friends, as her job took up most of her time. She was a nurse at an important hospital and she loved feeling useful by helping others. She worked along with Dr. Sebastian, a young doctor very respected among his colleagues. Even though he was a friendly person, he always seemed cold and distant. Some thought his reserved personality was completely normal, as he was a forensic doctor and he spent most of his time surrounded by corpses. His blonde hair and blue eyes had broken many hearts. Anne was no exception and she soon fell in love with him. She never shared her feelings with him. She thought he would never show interest in her. However, one day, the doctor declared his love to her and they both started a relationship soon after. He gave her lots of presents and paid a lot of attention to her. She couldn't be happier. One day, he invited her over to his house and after a romantic dinner, he proposed to her. I love you, I want to be with you forever, he said, and she felt happier than she had ever been. After a while, the doctor made a sign with his hand and said, Come, I have another surprise for you, come to the basement. Even though she felt excited, something inside her was on alert. The tone in his voice had changed and the atmosphere had suddenly turned cold. She got up and followed him. He opened the door of the basement and she suddenly felt a sickening smell. While she was going downstairs, he said, Dear Anne, I finally found the answer. From now on, we will always be together. His strange words scared her even more. When they were all the way down, the doctor turned on the lights. The young girl could see, totally horrified, several dismembered corpses piled in a corner. She couldn't tell how many there were but they were all missing some parts. Anne panicked. The shocking image clouded her sight and she couldn't articulate a single word. The doctor was beside her, waiting anxiously for an answer. Her first impulse was turning around and running away, but he grabbed her and hit her on the head, leaving her dazed on the floor. She felt him holding her in his arms and putting her on an old and noisy stretcher next to a pile of corpses. He tied her hands and feet. She suddenly felt the pressure of a needle on her arm, and the effect of whatever he had injected her was instant. Her head started spinning and she couldn't feel her body anymore. She saw the doctor grabbing a huge knife from a drawer. She opened her eyes, panicking, but she couldn't even scream. He got close to her and put the blade on her chest. Don't worry, you will feel no pain. With a fast move, the doctor raised the knife and stabbed it into her heart with all his strength. And the last thing Anne saw before she passed out was a huge puddle of blood coming from her chest. When the young girl woke up, it took her a few minutes to remember what had happened. She was still laying on the stretcher, though she wasn't tied anymore. She could feel her body again, but that body didn't feel familiar anymore. She stood up and she noticed she was taller now. She had a strange feeling on her face and when she touched it, she realized there was an eye patch on her right eye now. She looked at her legs, then at her arms. She saw many parts stitched to one another, skin that didn't belong to her. Though the pile of corpses wasn't there anymore, she didn't take long to realize her new body was formed by pieces from dead people. She suddenly heard a noise and she saw the door of the basement opening. She knew it was him. Her body clenched and her face was burning with rage. He got closer to her and looked at her with the face of a lunatic. My dear Anne, you look so beautiful. I can only admire my best piece. Now you have to do the same to me and our love will be forever. But she wasn't the same girl anymore. She felt a strange feeling of euphoria. She felt powerful. Suddenly, she felt sorry for that insignificant being. And the simple idea of spending the rest of her existence with him seemed disgusting to her. The doctor's smile vanished when he observed his loved one. Before he could say anything, she jumped on him and with the power of her new supernatural body, she choked him. 
He tried to resist, but all his efforts were in vain. She was a lot stronger. When she saw him dead, she decided to give him a taste of his own medicine. She searched among the tools in the basement until a chainsaw called her attention. She turned it on and used it to cut the doctor's body into pieces, smiling with each new mutilation. She left the basement and went to the kitchen. She took a look at the clock and saw the day was about to break. She took a shower to clean the blood out of her body and then searched the doctor's drawer. She put on a black uniform. She covered the scars on her arms with long gloves and she covered her right eye with her hair. Finally, she was ready to start a new day at work. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. And if you want to see more Draw My Life videos, subscribe to our channel. See you in the next episode!